sexual abuse is a deeper wound than even physical abuse because it hurts their soul, it hurts their spirit, it hurts who they are. We see children giving us a lot of red flags of please help me, I have a problem um, by putting their hands in their crotch quite frequently um, molesting other children, being more interested in the dog's private parts. When someone's kissing on TV or hugging, they'll be, oh, that's so gross. You know, just over-exaggerating. A lot of times, you know, during a, um, you know, about fifth or sixth grade, a lot of times boys will say, oh, kissing, that's gross. That's normal behavior, but our children do it way overboard for a much longer period of time because they're saying, I've got issues that I need help with and I need a professional to be able to do that. The first thing we do is get a therapist who's trained to deal with attachment disorder because they're also trained to deal with the sexual abuse. That goes hand in hand. We develop the empathy in the child. We have to keep them safe. When they've been hurt that way, they will repeat the behavior that was done to them every time they get an opportunity with a weaker or younger child. So they need an alarm on their door at night. They know nobody's going to sneak in their room and repeat what was done to them. They need to feel safe. A lot of times our children urinate as a camouflage to keep people from coming and molesting them again in the night. So we need to be empathetic about those things. Um, just providing that feeling of safety and total acceptance by giving them lots of hugs, lots of appropriate touch. Sometimes we feel like we shouldn't touch them. You know, oh, they've been touched wrong, so we won't touch them. And then they feel dirty. They feel like a leper or something. And that's not appropriate. We need to hug our children more, pull them into our space in an appropriate, loving way so that they learn that touch is a good thing when it's done with love and care and they can heal.